Well guys, welcome at the Andrew Volting tutorial for the RTX 4060 laptop edition. Now don't tell this to everyone, but the tutorial will actually work for the RTX 4060 Ti laptop and actually even for the RTX 4070 laptop as well and probably for the RTX 4050 because I will give you some broad directions on how to apply this to your specific laptop as well. Now what we're using here today is a Medion Eraser Defender P40 laptop. I will also have a video of the review of this laptop on the channel in case you're interested uh, but what we care about is today we have a laptop with a very good cooling system and a 140 watt TDP of your GPU. So if you have a 90 watt TDP card or a laptop that is much thinner, you will need to do a few adjustments, but I will tell you all of that in the video. Now, the only two things you need for this video are Heaven Benchmark and MSI Afterburner. So download those two things. I will leave the links in the description down below. Just download these and then start having benchmark in windowed mode and open MS Afterburner on top of it. Let's get into the tutorial. But first, promise me one thing, okay? If the tutorial helps you, please drop a like and subscribe to the channel. It really helps the channel and allow me to make these tutorials because I have no way to source these laptops anyway. So let's go. Okay, so here we are with Heaven Benchmark launching. As you can see, it's launching right now. And we have our nice MSI Afterburner opened up on top of it. Now, as you can see, here we have our core clock frequency and our memory frequency right here. Now, first you wanna go into settings and enable voltage control, voltage monitoring, hit OK, hit apply, and here we are. Now, depending on what you want to achieve with this tutorial, we will need to do different presets. So the aim of this tutorial is for you to decrease your temperature, decrease your power consumption, and actually increase your FPS as well. So the first preset I'm going to give you is actually going to do all those three things at once. It seems incredible, but it is actually the case. So we want to go on curve editor, hit it, and open up this thing. Now you want to go over the 900 millivolt voltage point, and then hold shift, hold the shift key on your keyboard and then left click on the 900 point, hold the left click, hold shift and bring it up until on the left side, which is our Y axis, we hit 2500 megahertz. It might be 2502, it might be 2499 depending on the curve, but that's what we want. Now release shift, release the left button and now click on the void next to the voltage point we use, so right here. And you wanna click on the void, holding shift, to select the rightmost part of the curve, like this. At this point, just grab the point, of course, the point to the right, all the way down. Now, hit apply. As you can see, the curve will flatten out and be slightly elevated on the left. Our undervolt by itself is now complete already. So if you want just to undervolt, you can just copy this setting, close the video, but please drop a like and a sub before you close it. But if you wanna stay, I actually have plenty more information for you guys because we can make this better. So let's delve into it. Now, this is gonna work for most people. However, in some laptops, this might make your game crash. What does it mean? It means that you are slightly unstable. So to bring it back to stability, you wanna do the same thing with 900 millivolt, but just aim for a lower core clock. What I recommend most of you guys, if this is gonna crash on you, is 2400. Now 2400 is still very close to the maximum turbo boost clock, so it's not gonna be an issue, and it's gonna be plenty fine for you guys, so you can do that, okay? Okay, now if you wanna get your temperature even lower, you will have to use less millivolt, for example, 850 millivolt. Now I will give you a quick preset. If you wanna go for 850 millivolt, most laptops will work at 2300 megahertz on 850 millivolt, okay? Now, staying on this profile, we can actually get more FPS out of this thing. And if you have waited this far, you deserve the extra FPS. So you just wanna go on the memory clock and give it plus 1000. Bam, hit apply. And now we also have quite a bit more FPS. Now. You can actually push this further. Most laptops will be able to make 1300, okay? This laptop does 1400. However, I do recommend to stay safe, to avoid extra heat and to avoid crashes. So plus 1000 is good. If you wanna be 1000% safe, just extra safe and you're going for efficiency more than performance, put 800, hit apply, okay? 
And yes, this is basically it for the tutorial. So you can adjust the ratio between the voltage and the frequency to your desire using this simple trick of lowering the curve and bringing it back up. Pretty simple and it's gonna work for every RTX 4000 laptops out there. So guys, again, if this was helpful, please drop a like and a sub and maybe comment saying how the tutorial went. It really helps me and it honestly makes me happy. So <laughs> if you want to, you can do that. I have many more videos on the channel, different undervolts for CPUs as well, because this is just one part of the equation. You can also undervolt and or overclock your CPU. I have a Ryzen tutorial, I have an Intel tutorial. You can do it on every laptop. So you might wanna try that one out or if you wanna build a desktop PC, I also show you how you can do it for cheap. So yes, see you in the next one guys, hopefully, bye.